received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, Lord have mercy, I, I mean, I received it all, like, like all at once because I was hungry. And I let myself be curious. And I was willing to be wrong. And I was willing to be taught something new. And it went against everything I had been taught. It went against what I had been teaching my children. The first time I started laying hands on people and they were falling out, it was freaking me out. I didn't know what was happening. My kid, one of my kids was in the, he thought it was cool. He's like, oh, this is so cool. Goes home, starts telling dad. He's like, don't let mom touch the dog. And, and I'm freaking out. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, I don't know what's happening to me. Like, I feel like this, this power in my hand. I don't know what's going on. My 16-year-old at the time was like, oh, my God, don't touch me. That's so weird. And so now I'm freaking out. I'm like, I, you know, I'm like fear of man coming on me and all these things. But when I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I mean, I received it. And you know where I received it? In my closet. In my closet. When the Lord said, will you let me have my way with you? Will you lay flat on your back? Which was a very vulnerable position for me. Will you lay flat on your back and let me have my way with you? And he grabbed a hold of my tongue and I thought for sure I was never going to be able to speak in English ever again. <laughs> but you talk about fire from the top of my head to the tips of my toes. Now that was my experience, and I want you to know that everybody experiences the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Some people shake, some people quake, some people are like, ooh, yeah, that felt good. They don't know a difference until the next day, and then all of a sudden they begin to see. Everybody's different, but if you want to get fed, don't be picky.